Hi everyone, it's almost the end of the year now and I want to wish everyone Merry Christmas and Happy New Year 2022 soon. Okay, so I'm back because over the holidays I've heard many people saying that they don't need insurance. Okay, so I uh, just wanted to share some of the reasons why people think they don't need insurance. Okay, so let's go. So the question is, does everyone truly need insurance? Are there actually people who don't need insurance? Okay. So let's talk about the people who really don't need insurance. Okay. So people who are rich and then they can continue to have an income generating business that can continue on when they are incapacitated. So it means like whether they are sick or um, they are dead and gone, then their business can continue running and then they can continue generating income. And then they are so rich that um, no matter what happens to them, then nothing it can it can never affect their wealth. Uh. Yeah, so these are the people who don't need insurance, okay? And people who are poor because they have no money to buy any insurance, okay? Then other people who don't need insurance are people who will never ever have an accident and can plan to live forever, okay? Another type of people who don't need insurance is people who are healthy and think that insurance is only for the sick or the old. Okay, so even if they eventually fall sick or become old, pass away or whatever, and become old and cannot earn income, right? There will always be that someone that helps to pay for their bills or take care of their life expenses. Okay, so... Other people who don't need insurance include people who intend to be single for life or they think that money is totally not important. Okay, so anyway, um, now that I've come to the end of this part and we talk about people who don't need insurance, obviously all these people don't exist or the reasons are not very valid. Okay, so let's go into why. Okay, so if you are rich and you can continue to generate income when incapacitated so if really you can do that and what happens if you never ever recover even with all that money you throw it at hospital expenses you never ever recover from your cancer you never ever recover from your heart attack stroke it keeps recurring so how much do you want to actually spend in this hospital bills what about like healthcare inflation all this so you think it's actually maybe say you got 100 million lah. Then maybe because of these expenses, uh, then you continue income generating. Maybe because to reach 100 million, maybe you generate 5 million a year. Okay, so every time you go to hospital and you continue with your rich lifestyle, because obviously you are rich now, you want to continue with your rich lifestyle, then uh, maybe per year you spend uh, 1 2 million in, hos- uh, in hospital expenses. So if over like 10 years you have earn 20 million less okay so even say you are really able to continue income generating why would you want to earn 10 million less when you can pay few thousand dollars for cheap insurance premiums right it doesn't make logical sense right to lose 20 million oh 20 million is just for 10 years so if you live uh, longer than that and your your illness continues to uh, persist right it can potentially be more okay so why waste that few million when you can actually just spend few thousand dollars for insurance policy? Okay, so uh, even though you are rich, right, and the truth is, uh, your business will never continue to generate income when you are incapacitated. So, like, say you have a family business. Currently, you are the big boss running the business. Then, uh, in the event you pass away or you fall sick, you have a stroke, right? You think your your uh, kids are not going to fight over the family business? You think that's going to be the case? So no lah, I don't believe you can continue income generating even when you are incapacitated. Unless you did your family business uh, planning well, which I uh, rarely see lah, in family businesses. Okay, so this uh quite hard. And rich also need insurance because don't want to... uh. Don't want to erode on your wealth la, in case the illness persists. Right? 
So another type of people who are people who are too poor to buy any insurance. So they think they don't need insurance. I'm so poor, I can't buy it. Then the thing is, if let's say how poor, let's just take a look how poor are you. Like, if say you are really earning like $500 a month, okay, then maybe really, really you can't afford the insurance. Like, because $500 a month, you need to pay your rental, you need to pay... Uh, your utilities, your food, everything. Yeah, I think 500 a month really quite hard to buy. La. But if you're earning at least like 1k a month, right? You shouldn't be... I mean, you should be still be able to afford some sort of insurance, okay? So, if you already have insufficient money to like support yourself when you are healthy now, right? How are you going to support yourself when you get sick? You're just going to let yourself die and not receive any treatment? Okay, so the thing is, uh, if you're really, really very poor, then uh, just get very little insurance. Not saying you don't get any. Okay. So um, like I mentioned, there will be if you're talking about hospital insurance, there will be medical life. So medical life probably you don't need to upgrade if you're earning five hundred dollars a month. But if five hundred dollars a month, you maybe you can set aside few dollar, a uh, few hundred, maybe hundred dollars a month to pay for a critical illness plan then that's how you're going to support yourself when you get sick. Because if not, you cannot afford to take uh, any time off work at all. Okay, So the key is to reallocate your spending based on your salary. La. So allocate uh, 10 to 20% of your salary to buy insurance. Because like I mentioned, you're really poor. I mean, you already no money to support yourself when you're healthy. Eh? Can you imagine when you get sick, then how? Is this going to just pass on? Cannot be, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, another impossible reason why people don't buy insurance is because they say I will never have an accident and I plan to live forever. Okay, so uh, we'll never have an accident. That's uh, extremely ridiculous. Lah. Plan to live forever. Okay, plan to live forever is really possible if like technology advances and stuff. So if you plan to live forever, then you need to plan more because you will have more financial expenses as for as long as you live. Right? So, uh, end of the story is you still need to do financial planning. So, you just need to do the planning. Whether you need insurance or not, you need to sit down with a financial planner and talk about it. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, I'm healthy. So, insurance is only for the sick. Oh, nope. <laughs> so, if you're too sick or too old, you cannot buy insurance because there is age limits on the policy. So, most insurance policies are either 70, 75, so you can't buy anymore. So if you wait till you're sick or old, you... Okay, old you cannot buy. Sick you also cannot buy. So uh, sick you can buy la, depending on what uh, illnesses you have. So certain illness you cannot buy anymore. Then certain illness you get exclusion. Certain illness you get loading. Okay, so why would you want to pay all this when you are sick and old? Why don't buy when you are healthy? So when you, when you buy young and healthy, right? You get the most amount of coverage at a cheaper rate and you get more coverage because more coverage there's no exclusions all this yeah so can you actually guarantee that you will never be sick in your lifetime you cannot guarantee then do you want to really uh, burden that someone be the friend family or like your parents like how, how are you going to survive like your parents see you struggling like for example you are sick uh, you still need to go to work Parents see you struggling every day. They want to pay for your medical bills and everything. It's like, how, how, why do you want to bring it on yourself? I mean, sick is really one thing. Then one thing is to be, uh, like, in the mind because uh, you are so stressed over money, right? You will affect your recovery rate as well. So do you still want to, like, burden people, like, beg, borrow, and steal from someone just because you're sick? Yeah, so if you don't really want this kind of thing to be happening, you better get it early. La. Okay? So another reason why people think they don't need insurance is uh, they intend to be single for life and their money is not important. Then the thing I want to ask you, la, so currently you are in your 20s, you think you're going to be single for life. Or you're in your 30s, you, you say you want to be single for life. Okay, what happens if you get married at 50? Do you think you still can buy insurance? I don't think so, man. So it's like, the insurance premium is either too expensive or the thing is uh, 
too expensive or you might have exclusions or you already developed some symptoms of some illness so so definitely you can't expect what will happen in your whole lifetime what so what happens if one day you meet the one and just get married at 50 years old okay then Money is not important. That's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. How can money be not important? If it's not important, then please donate all your money to someone else who think money is important. Uh. It's freaking ridiculous, oh my god. Yeah, so these are the reasons why people think they don't need insurance. So if you are any of these people who don't need insurance, then okay, go ahead. Don't buy any insurance, okay? So because one day, if you are these people, you will realize you actually need it. Okay. So, yeah, please think about it again. Yeah, so all I want to say is 2022 is going to be a new fresh year. We can start on like a new front. Lah. So I, what other way to get started from then to start with financial planning, right? Okay, so um, even if you don't think about yourself, you say, I don't need this, I don't need this. But when you say you don't need it, you need to think whether your family needs it. The people around you need it, okay? So you really, you are just going to be really single alone for your lifetime, right? You still need insurance, what? Because you still need to buy uh, hospital insurance. What happens when you're single, you say you don't want to receive a single cent from your parents, right? So you're incapacitated. Do you need the healthcare costs? How are you going to pay for healthcare costs? Medical life is enough? You want to stay in a non-air conditioned ward? If no, then you need to do something about it, right? Okay. So, um, I would say as a single person, you still need uh, life insurance. Life insurance like to cover death because in event you get married next time. Okay, You still need critical illness insurance. You still need hospitalization insurance. You still need accident plans. Okay, So, these are the four things you need. And then in old age, you need long-term care insurance. Okay, Then... In, if you really live until super long and you didn't plan for your fi- money financially, you need a retirement plan. Okay, so who says that single don't need insurance? Okay, so I debunked all the myth of people saying that they don't need insurance. So I hope this has uh, helped to open up your mind la, about like insurance. So everyone always thinks that insurance is only for poor, but it's not really, really not true. It's like the rich also need it because... It helps to multiply the wealth that they have. So like, even if like something sway happens to like the breadwinner of the family, right? The family still can continue to grow their wealth. So the insurance helps to multiply their wealth in that sense. Okay? Yeah, so any prudent uh, prudent person will definitely do some financial planning. Whether you are rich, poor, or already have disease or whatever, all the more you need insurance. So the, the moral of the story is really everyone needs insurance okay so hope you have learned a lot from today's video and then uh wish everyone a happy 2022 see you next year bye bye